Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. Today we have something exciting. The new Animal Crossing Legos have finally been released. So we're gonna go out on a little bit of a field trip and see if we can find them. We'll bring them back here, put them together, and it'll be fun. Let's go. All right, I am out here at my old stomping grounds, Alderwood Mall. I found a couple of them at Target. It was uh, Julian's birthday party and the Captain Island tour one, but I couldn't find any of the other ones, so I drove all the way out here to go to the only Lego store that I know of. If we can't find them here, we won't be able to find them anywhere. Trying really hard to avoid the temptation to get cheese bacon fries. I had too much Wendy's last week. Now that I think about it, I don't remember where the Lego store actually is. There it is. I hope they actually have it because if they don't, I'm kind of shit out of luck. Okay, so they have the two that I already have. All right, I checked another Target and no dice, but we did get the bunny one. We have two of the other ones. That's three out of five. That's not that bad. But for now, let's head back and open them up. I got the Legos. Actually, I have to confess, uh, I had already gotten them, uh, just like an, a couple of hours ago. Just, uh, recorded both the part at the beginning and just this, and then I got up and then walked out as if I hadn't gotten them yet, but I already did, and then I came back. So, basically, I'm a fraud. You know what? I'm just now realizing that the two Animal Crossing sets that we didn't get are the coolest of the, of the five. I mean, it's Tom Nook and Isabel. These are cool, too, but we gotta get Nook's Cranny. Yeah, I've gotta get those two. They're the biggest ones, they're the coolest ones, the most iconic characters. We're gonna be building all of them in this video, which I'm assuming you probably already knew because I probably called it that. We're do I'm kind of winging this. These just came out today, so. I didn't anticipate the Lego store, the Lego store, not having all of them, but apparently they didn't. Didn't even really look like they were out of stock. It just kind of looked like they weren't there. Damn, the two I missed are expensive. Uh, hey, like the video, subscribe. Help a struggling Lego YouTuber out over here. Okay, let's start with the smallest one. That should be Julian's birthday party. Happy birthday, Julian. Happy birthday, Julian. I did not know it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Julian. It's a good, ha it's a good birthday for you today. Happy birthday. Cheers on your birthday. All right, let's open this baby up. This one is only 170 pieces, so it shouldn't be too hard. One thing I noticed while looking at these boxes is that it does say that they are customizable and personalized, personalizable. Personalizable? Is that a word? Which I guess makes sense. I mean, it's Animal Crossing. It's all about like building your house, you know, creativity and stuff like that. So I guess you can kind of make it in different ways. We'll see how that works. Knife. Happy birthday, Julian. What is the best way to open this? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. You actually don't need the knife. Happy birthday, Julian. I will not stab you on your birthday. Push it in. Cute. All right, only three or four little bags. And this, and this. Okay, so it has physical instructions. I don't know, do you use like the Lego app? It looks like you might. Might as well. Oh, uh, the, it, it took me to a, uh, we're sorry we can't find this page page. It didn't work. Lego store doesn't have the Animal Crossing Legos. Their web pages aren't ready. Come on, what the heck? I know it's not Mario, but come on. I'm gonna try the app. Here we go, this is working. Let's go, Julian's birthday party. First, we are building Julian himself. <laughs> it's always funny when these little Animal Crossing characters are like beheaded. I saw this before on the uh, little Animal Crossing blind box things. It's just, it's wrong. It looks wrong. Julian, no! And on his birthday. Happy birthday, Julian. There he is. He's sleeping. We need his birthday cap. Happy birthday, Julian. Everybody wish birthday Julian happy in the comments. <gasps> He's ready. Hi, Julian. It's a little present. Cute. <laughs> Okay, so we've made a bunch of little presents for him. I'm already loving the different color palettes. Uh, we've only done Mario Legos on this channel that I, as, as far as I can remember. In this one, we're getting a lot of different colors, like light blue, pink, white, even like light brown. Really digging the color scheme. It's a birthday cake. This little cherry blossom tree is adorable. And the last bag. All right, I think we've got it mostly done. We just need to connect them. We've got the birthday cake table, the cherry tree or whatever it is, balloons, lamp post, presents. We gotta do the string lights now. Ta-da! Then just gotta set his other presents here. The skateboard. I never took Julian for a, for a skater, but it looks cute. And there it is, the very first set. Just look how cute this thing is. Happy birthday, Julian. You know what, I won't do it. It's his birthday. Nobody's showing up to Julian's birthday party. <laughs> I just realized, because we haven't made any of the other people yet. Aw, oh, that's sad. That face when nobody shows up to your, bar your birthday. So these presents are actually uh, openable, I guess, if I recall. Let's open this present, Julian. We'll all go to your birthday party. Look at him, he's depressed. What did you get, Julian? 
Wow! It's a gold star, a microphone, and a one bell? <laughs> one bell? Julian's depressed. No one showed up. Trying to get drunk. <laughs> He's pissed. Now he can do drunk karaoke with his new microphone. I don't... I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I want to know right now, what will it be? Let's go streaking! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Well, I can't really take his pants off without Toasty any legs onto him. Woo! Yeah! What are the presents we got here, Julian? Ugh, open this one. Ugh. What? What the fuck? This is just a Lego brick! Give me this present. What's in this present? Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Uh. Uh. God! I think this one actually does open. Let's see. Oh, no, no never mind. This one, this one doesn't open either. <laughs> Julian got a microphone and one bell for his birthday, and nobody showed up. Well, we did get a skateboard, Jill. Let's try it out. He was a skater boy. She said she later, boy. He wasn't good enough for. Whoa, Julie, watch out! Oh, God, he died! And he really needs to dust inside his desk! When did I write high on there? When did I do that? I have to resist the urge to destroy this in case I need it for the end of this video. I'm not really sure yet. It's too cute to destroy anyway. 10 out of 10! Happy birthday, Julian. Yeah, again, you can customize these if you want, uh, at least, the, like, the outline of the birthday party. You can kind of move it around and stuff if you want. Nothing crazy. I imagine it'll be fun at the end to kind of combine them all into one, like, big Animal Crossing village or, or something to that extent. I remember there were toys like that in the past that released in Japan. I think Chadtronic did a video on all of them. Oh, yeah, I always wanted those. This is kind of a nice, like, a uh, American version of that, I guess. All right, day two. This is like a one-week video at this point. I spent one week building every Animal Crossing Lego set. I wonder if I actually called it that, if it would get more views. <laughs> Probably would. I love YouTube. But hey, maybe it actually will take me one week at this point. Today we have the second smallest set. The one that we got at the actual Lego store. I'm still kind of baffled that we didn't get all of them there, but apparently they just don't have them. They don't have Legos at the Lego store. Bunny's Outdoor Activities. Bunny, what are you doing out there? What are you doing, girl? You're about to break your back on that thing. So this one is very uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons themed. I mean, they all kind of are, but this one very specifically because we have, we the, have stick. the stick. My favorite item in Animal Crossing New Horizons, stick. Yeah, this one looks very cute. Let's open it up. I literally just realized this is actually the smallest one. It's smaller than Julian's by six pieces. So I was wrong to start with that one. There should have been a guest at Julian's birthday party. Happy birthday, Julian. Bunny tried to come, but I, I stopped her. Yeah, only two bags on this one. She comes alive. We can rebuild her. There. We did it. Rocking out. <laughs> this one has the tarantula. Jump scare. This one also has an axe. Bunny's outdoor slaughtering spree. We've got her little tent with her bed and a little uh, campfire in the back with a radio. Again, you can like move these items around in different ways if you want. Here's the tarantula's perch. He's just uh, menacingly creeping up at the top, waiting to pounce. Yeah, literally, he's just waiting right up above the bed. That's so eerie. And all our weapons we would use to take him out. We can't get to them before he attacks. This was so relaxing to build, especially compared to some of the other ones that we've done in the past. Like that hidden block one, that was insanely difficult. That was like a chore. Oh, this is a breeze. It's super uh, relaxing. All right, I got it complete. We've got Bunny's Outdoor Activity. We've got a nice cherry tree. We've got the waterfall. We got the ladder item there with some uh, pitfalls or uh, fossils that you can dig up. There's also a couple other surprises in here that we will uh, discover here in a second. And there's Bunny just roasting her little marshmallows, blissfully unaware of the fact that she's about to die. <laughs> what?
What a nice day out in the outdoor activities. Such a lovely day, just listening to my favorite song on, on my stereo. That's quite the jig. I need my axe! Where is my axe? Oh no, I left it all the way over there by the cherry tree! Oh no, I knocked over that ginormous tree! With my head! I hope that God puts it back! God is, God is confused. Okay, he figured it out. Gotta grab onto this stick! Perfect landing! Oh, what's this? These rocks seem a little funny. Wow, two whole bells. I murdered. I'm hungry. Oh, wow! Sticks for the fire! And then Bunny ate a diet of only tarantula for the rest of her life and she no longer ate fruit or veggies like a bunny would do. Unfortunately, this did have unintended side uh, effects. Bunny became addicted to the blood and she could only eat meat from then on out, including the only meat that was available on the island. All the other villagers whom she killed. Movie over. Thanks for thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, another day, another Animal Crossing Lego set. You'd think I could find time in the day to build more than one Lego set, but you know we're struggling out here. But on the positive side, I am the best dad ever. This is like my third cup today. I'm excited today though because we are doing Captain's Island boat tour. I was excited about this one, not the coolest one. Obviously, we're gonna save that one for last, but we're getting into the more substantial ones now. We got a little boat. All right, we've got. Catton, always been one of my favorite Animal Crossing characters. Oh wait, hold on, he needs his uh, whatever that is. What are those supposed to be, like sunglasses? I'm honestly not sure. I like that every character does have like a little hole on their head so they can uh, go to Julian's birthday party. I mean, nobody did, to be clear. Nobody went to Julian's birthday party. But they could have if they wanted and they could have worn little birthday caps. I think we're making a little engine on the boat, I'm assuming. Okay, so we got the boat for Catton here. I'm not really sure where is he supposed to stand right there. He's got a little engine with a propeller on it. Clearly goes insanely fast. He's zooming. He's got a little mug, a little thermos, a little album from KK Slider. What do you think? What does this look like compared to the in, to the actual game? Does this look right? Now we're making Marshall. They got a lot of fan favorite characters in this. He's got a freaking tail, so I assume we're gonna put that on like that. Where's his torso? Here we go. Marshall always uh seemed like, kind of like a preppy preppy guy to me. His little preppy outfit on. Kind of like stuck up a little bit. I actually can't remember what his personality trait is in the game. I had him on the 3DS, but it's been a bit. Since he has the tail though, he's unable to move his legs. So uh, he is a little bit disabled, but hey, his tail looks good. Can't walk, but he's got a nice tail. <laughs> this is obviously going to be a palm tree and it has uh, coconuts, but the coconuts are actually just what would be a Lego person's head. So this is kind of giving me some uh, good ideas for some morbid uh, <laughs> morbid Lego sets uh, I could do. You could uh, just, you know, just a few heads impaled on a pike or like maybe the heads of your enemies hanging from a tree or pole. Just some ideas for your own personal creative Lego sets out there. Captain's Island tour of human Lego heads. Oh my God. I wasn't sure what this was at first. It's a sandwich. 
Just chilling out on the beach, eating a sandwich. Man, this is making me want to go on vacation so bad. Dare I say, this is making me do something I haven't wanted to do in a long time. Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. I mean, just a little bit. Just, I mean, I'm not going to, but. <laughs> All right, last bag. Got a nice little bamboo infestation. I haven't checked in on my town in a while. I'm assuming it is just covered in bamboo at this point. All right, we have everything completed. A cute set for sure. Uh, one of my only real complaints. Why did Marshall come with this one? They have beds over there. He's the only one who's literally incapable of laying in them. He can stand with his tail kind of just like propping him up, but that that's just about it. Hey bro, can I get a lift? Bonnie over there is uh, looking a little psychotic. I don't really know where he's supposed to stand, especially with his tail. He doesn't freaking fit in anything. Chill right there. Thanks for the ride. Heave to and prepare to be boarded. Rattle me bones, a nasty swab. Look lively, ship shape, big as a whale, not worth but two bits, weather the lizard. Uh, well, this place seems all right. Take a little rest here. There we go. Ooh, pina colada. Well, look at this, nice shovel. Whoa, two bells, I'm rich. Man, this place is great. Nothing bad could happen on this island. He's swimming. What, Mario? Luigi? Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, God. Murdered. Okay, we are back. I finally have a good amount of time to build Legos today, so I'm gonna be able to finish these last two. We've got the second biggest one, Isabel's House Visit. This one looks super cute. We have another very popular villager included, Fauna. And we finally have uh, apples on the trees instead of cherries. We have a balloon, balloon present. All right, let's get this thing going. Uh, my least favorite part, pushing the holes into the box. It never works as easy as they make it seem like it's going to. Six bags? I can't handle that many bags. I'm just a simple YouTuber. I can't be expected to handle six bags. We have Isabel here. Uh, she actually can move her legs, so that's a nice improvement over Marshall. She uh, has to wear any uh, head accessories on the side of her head, though, so that is a uh, minor inconvenience. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume we're putting a flower in her hair. I don't know if that's actually what we're doing, but I'm doing it. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh, I forgot her skirt. She's naked. Isabel's going bottomless. There we go. And she can still move her legs. She apparently can't stand up, though. She's got a little garden in front of her house, the white picket fence. I love it. I'm gonna show a little step to progress of building uh, Isabel's house here. Progress one. Progress two. Progress three, she has a door and a leaf. If we keep it up, then Isabel will not be homeless anymore. Although I did realize that I put some of the brick pieces on the wrong side. Like the brick part isn't showing. Ugh, I'm trying to decide, should I undo this to fix that? Yes, carefully though. Dude, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this when I cannot remember how to put this back on. I'm already forgetting, I'm currently forgetting. Okay, I think I got it back together correctly, hopefully. There's a couple ones that are still not on right. You see the brick patterns are 
not showing. I didn't realize that these brick pieces have different sides. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, I can't fix those. They're too they're too deep in. I've gone too deep to fix that. It says on the back that it's customizable, personi personalizable. I personalizable it to be have been done wrong. That's that's how I wanted it to be. Okay, so I got a little confused for a second because it uh, it gives you like two different windows and it's like, here you go, just put two to the side. I guess you're supposed to be able to decide which ones you want to use. That's the first time it's done that with any of these sets, so it's customizable. You can pick which one of these windows that you want. It even shows it on the box. Hey, look, you can use these. There's some extra windows. I don't know which ones I want. Um, Here's the blue. And here's the brown. I think I actually like the brown ones better. They go with the rest of the, I almost said edging. <laughs> What's the word for it? Uh, that, is, that is what it's called, right? It's called edging. That's not what it's called. It goes with this part. Oh yeah, and update four, by the way. It's looking pretty good. We got a chimney and everything. Ah, shit. Isabel, no! Juana, you can stay there. I'm more of a bow guy anyway. All right, we're gonna install the roof without breaking it. See here, Just stick out a little bit. Just like that. All right, progress number five, I think. It's starting to look like a real Animal Crossing house now. Look at how cute Isabel's bed is, holy crap. All right, final bag. We made all the little intricacies of Isabel's house. Now it looks like we're working on the outside garden. Wait, I think I just realized this is not Isabel's house. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Fauna's house. Google Animal Crossing Fauna house. Um, I guess none of these really look like this house. So is, is it Fauna's house or Isabel's house? I guess it's up to interpretation. I'm gonna say it's Fauna's house because Isabel doesn't have a house. At no point do you ever see Isabel inside of a house. Well, except for the times in which you do. But it's not her house. Isabel remains homeless regardless of what I said earlier. She can live in the office and she can work in there forever. All right, we got it. Oh, how can I help you? Yes, the mayor's office has received many complaints of a very foul scent coming from this house. Oh, my bad. I'm coming in! Wow, it's very spacious in here! And so, Isabel and Fauna had tea and crumpets. They tended the garden together. They shot at balloon presents. Well, what's in the present? Ah, it's just balloon furniture. But soon, their friendship turned to jealousy because Isabel never had a house of her own. So she started to plot on how she could get one. Dear Mayor's Office, and upon further inspection, I have realized the resident fauna has not been paying her taxes. I recommend eviction. <laughs> My Isabel voice is floundering. Dear Mayoral's office, I have discovered upon further investigation that the resident fauna has been committing tax fraud. I recommend eviction. <laughs> Isabel is just playing nap. Isabel, you're messing up my story. Oh, gotta go! Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You're under arrest. And they took her away. Kicking and screaming. And now Isabel has her own house that she lived in guilt-free for the rest of her life because she's a sociopath, psychopath, or whatever, I guess. The end! Oh!
Okay, we have the last and biggest set. I was really excited for this one. We have Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. I mean, nobody really cares about Rosie, but you can just go ahead and get out. I'm here for Nook's Cranny, we all are, but I guess we'll build Rosie's house too. This one is 535 pieces, which is more than double some of the other ones, so I better get started. My desk is being completely taken over by all those different Lego sets. We've got Rosie and her little tail. I take back what I said about Rosie, by the way. I mean, Rosie actually is a great villager. I'd be super stoked to get Rosie in my town. Almost all the cats are good. I feel like I, it's been a long time since we did that uh, Animal Crossing villager tier list. That was way before we started doing like the official Peebs rebranding or whatever. But I'm pretty sure I ranked all the cats pretty high. Oh wait, I forgot her little bow. <laughs> there it is, her bow. Now just wait right there for your house to be built, okay? Men at work in this general area. Kitty cat stay over here. Men Network building Legos. A very serious work we do here on the Peeps channel. We got an orange tree now. It's crazy how well some of the Animal Crossing art style actually comes through in the Legos. Okay, so we are making Rosie's house first. It's uh, this is, this is uh, report one. Rosie, I destroyed your house. My bad. All right, starting to come together. You know, I'm just noticing both of these houses that we made so far today have had chimneys that have the uh, smoke coming out. There's no fireplace in there. Kind of breaking my immersion right now, Lego, okay? I will be sending my complaint in the mail. All right, we have two different options for windows again. I think I will go for the pink this time. We'll go for the one that's different than the one that's shown on the box. Plus the pink actually kind of matches with the door. By the way, we have a roof now. We're looking pretty good. Well, hold on, let me put the thing in. The window. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. If you watch any of my old Animal Crossing New Horizons stream, you know I love the combination of pink and white anyway, so that's doing it for me. Oh, sh Rosie, I broke your house again. Don't get mad. All right, we gotta put all the stuff inside of our house now. I guess this part in particular is something that you could uh, change up if you were so inclined. There we go, not too shabby. And here is her house, fully complete. Now we get to make the thing I've been most excited about, Nook's Cranny. Can't have Nook's Cranny without the Nookster himself. There he is. Wait, he needs his bag of money. Where is it? Oh, I guess it's in the other bag. We've laid down the foundation for the cranny. Nook's cran, that's what I call it, the cran. You know, me and Nook go way back. So it's just a little thing that like we say, we say, you know, nobody knows about it. I've been making Lego for a long time. I think I'm kind of losing it. Some walls have been erected. We have walls, we have windows coming together even more. We have blue and we are also on our second to last bag. We've got all the flair on the outside, the extra colors, the sign. We've got the roof looking good. And now we have the very last bag. All right, we got it complete. Here's the uh, finished product of Nook's Cranny. We'll get a good shot of uh, all of them as well, but we got the uh, inside of the store, connected them all together really quick. Long had Tom Nook ruled over the Animal Crossing villages with his greed. Rumors began spreading across all the different villages of a potential mutiny. Eventually, it all came to a boiling point, and they rallied the troops. Nook, you're going down! I had a chat with all the other villagers. Nook! Oh god, you're going down! Burn it all down! Chief! Out of my way, Marshal! Wait, this bitch only had two bells? F and then Isabel rode up into the sunset with his skateboard. Goodbye, losers! Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. The Animal Crossing Legos are pretty cool. Here's a shot of all of them. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. Look at all those chickens.